Our next caller is Grace from Wisconsin. Hey, Grace, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Um, first off, uh, my question is, um, well, I'm a truck driver, and so I drive upwards of 11 hours a day, depending on if I'm picking up or dropping off trailers. And um, so I'm driving and sitting all the time. And um, uh, usually this doesn't happen, but if it's like a stressful day, like dealing with traffic or snow, which actually no snow for right now, but it's not with Midwest, so you don't never know that. Um, or uh, high winds, you know, I get um, pain in my neck and in my shoulders and in my back. Mm. And um, I was just wondering if like, there was something I could do to counteract that. See, I've been driving for upwards of uh, 12, 13 years, seven, those, seven of those being truck. And, um, you know, I just was, uh, I do have Prime and I have Prime Pro, but uh, I looked over them and they were kind of, like overwhelming and confusing i didn't know where to start mm. okay but i was like hoping to maybe do something to counteract that like usually it would probably be like something that really fast like that i could do like when i go to a rest stop to use the restroom or something like that yep. yeah no yeah, yeah. so grace i trained uh years ago some really cl some clients that ended up staying with me for a long time they owned a company with the that that did what you did and they drove trucks quite a bit. And this was a common complaint, right? They would get pain in their back. Uh, one of the guys I trained would get pain in his hips. Yeah. Sitting too long is just brutal on the body. It is. And so here's the two pieces of advice I have for you. Now, one is, yes, definitely when you stop, you should definitely get out and do five minutes of exercise. And you can bring bands with you on your truck mm -hmm. and you can do some light rows. You could do some cable chops. You could do some light squats just to kind of move the body, or you can pick some movements um, from Maps Prime Pro. But here's the problem: the problem. A lot of people might not realize this, but sometimes truck drivers, especially when you're uh, in, in a time crunch, you don't stop for a while, right? You stay in there for a long period of time, and so there are yeah. some movements you can do while driving. Now, you talked about your neck and your upper back and your lower back, so I'm going to give you a few suggestions, okay? So the first one is going to be for your upper back. So what I want you to do when you're in your seat is I want you to sit real tall. You're going to bring your shoulders back, down, and then I want you to push the back of your head, the nodule that's at the bottom of your skull, mm -hmm. into the back of your chair and try to elongate your neck while pulling your shoulders down. So you're pushing your head down, up, and pu pulling your shoulders down, and you're trying to elongate. And you want to do that for about... Yeah. 10 to 15 seconds at a time. It's basically the seated version of our zone one test, which I know that that's a common thing too with our prime programs is that it's a little bit overwhelming uh, because there's so many different things to address, but that's why we also tried our best to kind of condense that in webinars. And so if you haven't uh, checked those out yet, like Adam and I both, Adam did one a little bit more focused on prime pro. I did one a little bit more focused on the compass test specifically. Uh, but what, what Sal's describing is you know what I had Doug kind of do against the wall, uh, and I think that that's just one that you want to repeat that as as frequently as possible based on you know the position of your head and, and leaning forward and grabbing the wheel and that's a really very stressful position uh, you're placing your body in. Yeah. So and then there's one more movement. You said your lower back. This is a very easy movement yeah. and it usually helps people with low back issues as they're driving. You can practice pelvic tilts. <laughs> in your chair. So this is where you're sitting down. And so you start by arching your back and then you go to rounding your low back and you're just moving your pelvis back and forth. And what you may find is the first few reps might be a little painful, might be a little stiff, but just doing this for five or 10 minutes typically will loosen up uh, the lower back. So just those two simple movements that I gave you while you're driving, if you do them uh, you know, once every hour can make a huge difference. So I actually, um I do what you just said, Sal, but all in one thing. So what I do, and this happens to me a lot, if I drive for longer than two hours, if I fly on a plane for more than two hours, uh, this is how I feel. My low back starts to kill me. My neck gets stiff. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll, I'll sit up in my chair. I'll tuck my chin in, and then head. I'll drive my head back into the seat first. So that's the first place I connect 
So I'm, and I'm going to keep that in that position. I'm holding that tension. Then I take the shoulders, like Sal said. I'm going to squeeze them back and down, push that against the back of the chair. And then the last cue is to rotate the pelvis, like you said. So I'm going to act, so squeeze my abs and squeeze my butt. So when I squeeze my butt, that's going to rotate the pelvis. You almost get a little tiny bit of a lift. Yeah, exactly. You're going to feel yourself kind of lift a little bit. And you, if you do this correctly, you actually will feel relief immediately. Yeah. I, I always yeah. know, like, and then I'm going to sit there and I'm going to keep that, I'm going to keep tension in all those, keep pushing the head back, rolling the shoulders, tuck down, squeezing the butt. I'm going to keep intensify that for about 10 seconds. Then I'm going to relax. And then I'm going to go through all those points again. And I'm going to do that. All, as much as I can while I'm driving or while I'm flying until I feel complete relief. So that's what I would do while I'm driving. And then I would do some specific moves uh, when I stop at like a truck stop to keep it simple, quick, because you don't have a lot of time. I believe I've seen you before, and I think you do have bands and you take them with you where you drive. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I have a lot of equipment. Yeah. I have adjustable dumbbell. I have bands. Yes. I have a cable machine. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think I've seen you post and tag us before. Uh, uh, do you, you have a suspension trainer? Just. Oh, curious. yeah. I do have a suspension oh, trainer. Awesome. And here, our upper Midwest, it's been like, like below below like sub-zero temperatures but now it's like finally in getting into the 70s and 60s so i was excited to get back into doing the mm. suspension training again <laughs> yeah i mentioned that because i've had a um a truck driver that uh, i got into suspension training was able to you know hook that up and anchor that to the truck itself and so when you go on like truck stops was able to do a lot of moves uh, right there in place alongside so bands and and suspension training i would think would be a, a you know a decent fit for your your lifestyle so w's zone one which is in uh maps prime so I would do the move, and that's a zone one move where you you press against the wall or press against the truck in this case. I would do Ws with either the suspension trainer or with a band. Uh, and then I would do uh, the hip thrusts, get down on the ground for a minute. Just those three moves, uh, I would do those for five or ten minutes at a truck stop every time you stop. Between that and then what Sal is saying right there, you should get a lot of relief. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, no problem. I mean, I love your podcast. I listen to you all the time. <laughs> you know, I have lots of time to listen to stuff. So, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My we, sister turned me on to you guys last year. So we talk about you all the time when we're on the phone. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank <laughs> what you guys discuss. Thank you so much for your support. And thanks for the work that you do. You, you do a very important job for the country. Well, thank you so much for you guys. And I read your book. So I listened to it twice already. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Grace. Sure. Thank you. That's a that's a tough job. I know. When, with with health, you know, when you it actually, is. you know, I don't know if you guys have seen the numbers on truck drivers and and their health, mm -hmm. and it's one of the most challenging jobs to do. Uh, the food that you eat is often on the road. It's so sedentary. You're you're sitting all the whole time, and you're and in when you get position. done, what does not sound good is going and hitting a gym for an hour, right? right? No, your like body you just want you want to crash. Yeah, you're, you're exhausted. You're, you're exhausted. Tired. That's the worst part. It's like you're exhausted, but you've been sitting there, you know, for hours yeah. and hours yeah. and hours. And so, yeah, to to get to muster up the energy <clears> to then be physical, which your body really needs and is craving for, is a difficult. I yeah. would say one of the hardest positions to stay in shape that i've trained like when i think of clients that i because i've trained quite a few oh i mean now you got computer engineers that are pretty damn close right I, I, right I, working with them is pretty here's the thing every hour if you do like five minutes of just even squeezing a squeeze you know a ball or yeah. working your shoulder like a turbo boost it, it improves your performance with your job as well not yeah. just improving your health 